Hello, I'm Aaliyah Feeney, and I'm here to read one of the scariest books, I think, in my opinion. Um, Nature's Deadly Creatures by Francis Jones. <laughs> so, Nature's Deadly Creatures. So, there are some, uh, many unusual and fearsome animals to be found in nature, but among the most terrifying are the venomous ones. As you learn about these creatures, they will become less frightening. No, they won't. <laughs> in fact, humans are likely to be more terrifying to them than they are to humans. Okay, first page. <laughs> Would you look at that? Wow. So this is called the scorpion fish. So um, this blue around it represents its water, its ocean. It's found in the waters of Pacific and Indian Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. So any warm bodies of water. Um, this, the beautiful family members, including the lionfish, da dragonfish, and zebrafish, are brightly colored and have rows of long graceful spines so this would be the long graceful spines I guess they would be called graceful I don't know they don't really look too graceful <laughs> um, a slight touch from another human or a human will trigger the venom so these essentially act as their um, defense weapon um, this says here, although it is one of the ugliest fish in the sea, I don't think that, I think it's kind of pretty, the stonefish repulsive appearance is very useful. Wow, they hate this fish. <laughs> its rough, watery skin blends in with rocks and seaweed on the ocean floor. So, another defense weapon it also acts, um, as a camouflage, so it can, um, hide away from its predators. I think there's some more pictures here, actually. Oh, okay. Alright. Maybe it's not that cute. But... That's okay. Okay. On to the next one. We have... Oh, God. I'm scared. Ah! Oh! <laughs> the Black Widow. Okay, so it's small but deadly. Um... The Black Widow is the most feared of all spiders, yeah. One bite from this tiny creature can cause nausea, terrible pain, and a risk of death. Thin but strong, the strands are able to carry the weight of several insects, as seen here. Um, the web is important because the Black Widow's eyesight is poor, and it listens to the world around it through the vibrations of its web. When an insect lands on the sticky strands, the web shakes as insects struggle to escape. So as seen here, the spider is trying to catch the grasshopper with its sticky web. Alerted by the movement, the black widow rushes to the insect, sinks, in, sinks its fangs into the victim, and injects the poison that will stun or kill the insect. Since they can only take food in liquid form, black widows use their fangs to pump a special liquid into their victims. This liquid dissolves the prey into a soupy mixture that spiders can suck up. Black widows in turn are eaten by birds, lizards, and toads. The Gossetu Indians of Utah understood the power of black widow poison. They mixed it with rattlesnake venom and smeared it on their arrowheads to use when hunting the big game. Wow. <laughs> ah! Are we kidding? <laughs> Look at that. Wow. So, this is a scorpion. Look how many legs it has. Oh, goodness. Yikes. Okay. Let's dive right in. <laughs> the scorpions are famous for their poison sting in their tails. Although not scorpions sting are deadly to humans, a single stab from an African thick-tailed scorpion can kill a person in four hours. Oh my goodness. Or a dog in seven minutes. In the United States and Mexico, more people are killed by scorpions than snakes. Wow, that is creepy. Scorpions belong to a group of creatures called anthropods. 
that first appeared on Earth over 400 million years ago. All scorpions have eight legs, so let's count them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, I guess these aren't legs here, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, we don't even want to know. Or they are. This is where they attack their prey with their tail. It's it's um, not as pointy in the book, but I'm sure it's very pointy. <laughs> okay. Um, so those eight legs um, and a pair of powerful princers. So yeah, these are the these in the front would be the princers. Um, that look like crab claws, which they can use like shovels to bury themselves deep in the sand. Um, the scorpion walks with its deadly tail curved in the air above it. <laughs> Ready to strike its prey or protect itself against hungry birds, bats, toads, lizards, monkeys, all of which the scorpion find to be a tasty meal. Lizards? Really? <laughs> tasty? Uh, um... Here is like a real life picture of what they look like. Um, okay, so this is called the King Cobra. Found from India to Southeast Asia is the most dangerous land snake in the world. Wow. A single bite can kill a person in just 20 minutes. Only sea snakes are more dangerous, although the King Cobra lives deep in the jungle from far towns and villages. It still manages to kill some people every year, mostly in India. Snakes belong to a group of animals called reptiles. So the scaly creatures I was talking about before. <laughs> um, every snake has long legless body, long legless bodies covered with scales and a tongue that consistently flickers in and out of its mouth. I'll try to do it. It's like. <laughs> King cobras hunt at dusk for birds, rats, lizards, and other snakes. They kill their prey by biting and injecting their deadly venom through two fangs in the front of their mouth. So, here. Let's try to... Like, right here. It's just a real life picture of one. Let me bring it closer. Let's see. Right here. These are where the fangs are. I think that's another snake that he's eating. Interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how they inject their deadly venom into their prey. The venom goes straight into the bloodstream of the victim and it either paralyzes them or kills them. King, Cro King Cobras build nests for their eggs and leaves and twigs. Um, from leaves and twigs. Oh, it says... The spitting cobra aims at its victim's eyes. The victim, the venom delivers a painful sting and can cause blindness. So imagine just walking down the street and seeing a snake spitting at your face. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Stand there and take it like a champ? <laughs> okay, so we are halfway through this book. We can do this. We can... We can, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oops, this tongue is messed up. Ah! <laughs> so, here's the side profile. I'll try to mimic it. <laughs> this is called the Gila Monster. So, um, the slow-moving Gila pronounced, oh, I'm saying it wrong, it's pronounced Gila, so the Gila monster, sorry, um, is one of only two lizards in the world with a bite that can kill. Wow. Unlike snakes, however, these reptiles do not have fangs to inject their poison. Instead, the venom from the glands at the back of their lower jaw flows into grooves in their bottom teeth. So... I'm assuming it's like here and then the tongue and like 
this is the this is where they poop. like yeah <laughs> Um, when the lizard bites its victim, the venom washes around the grooves of its teeth and is chewed into the wound. The venom can quickly kill small animals, but a strong Cuban could escape from the lizard before it had time to chew in a fatal dose of venom. Okay, so that's a relief. Humans could survive this terrifying creature. Um... The Gila monster lives in the hot, dry desert deserts of southwest United States and northwest Mexico. It is most active at night when it searches for food, such as insects, rodents, or eggs of snakes and birds. During the day, it hides from the hot sun under rocks or it burrows and digs itself in the sand. So here are the eggs that they go for at night. Um, is there a picture of it? Um, here's some real life pictures of it, so here's it on a rock, and another rock. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay. The Gila monster can grow as long as 23 inches, so imagine this, and this is just a book. <laughs> imagine this all the way up to there. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, the Gila monster can grow, yeah, as long as 23 inches. It is marbled markings for camouflage. The lizard's helping it blend into the desert colors. So it has a camouflage tactic as a defense weapon. Um, when threatened by a fox or coyote, the lizard first tries to escape. If conquered, it puffs out its body and makes a frightening hissing noise. If this fails, it will use its deadly jaws to defend itself. Here we go. <laughs> wow. So. Octopus. Yeah. This is the blue ringed octopus. As you can see, it has blue rings here. The pretty blue ringed octopus may look harmless. It kind of does. It doesn't really look that bad. Um, but its powerful poison makes it one of the deadliest creatures in the world. Found in the coastal waters of Australia, this tiny mollusk bites its victims, then spits venom into the wound. If humans are bitten, they usually die very quickly. It has a small round body with, um, eight long arms that meet in the center around a sharp beak-like mouth. So... Yeah, somewhere in there. Um, each long arm has two rows of sucker pads on it that help the octopus hold onto its prey. On the underside of its body, a muscular water-filled pouch called a mantle. By forcing the water out of it, the octopus can quickly propel itself away from danger. Because the octopus body is so soft and has no backbone, it can escape by squeezing through very small holes between rocks. It can also squirt a cloud of blackish ink into the water as it flees. This acts as a smoke screen and confuses the enemy while the octopus makes a quick getaway. A young Australian skin diver found one in the shallow water and made the mistake of playing with it. He let it crawl up his arm and across its back. He didn't feel it bite, but by the time he reached the beach, the venom had affected his nervous system, and he could no longer breathe. He was dead in minutes. Oh my goodness, that is actually crazy. Um, so, down here, this little picture, it says, To move quickly, the octopus sucks water into its mantle. Squirts it out again through a small funnel-shaped opening. This jet propels it backwards through the water with its arms trailing. So, in that motion. So, I hope you enjoyed my reading of this book. I hope I inspired you to read more about nature's deadly creatures. <laughs> Bye.